Freddy versus Jason. Freddy versus Jason is a 2003 slasher film directed by Ronnie Yu and starring the incomparable Robert Englund, Ken Kersinger, and Monica Kina. Freddy Krueger and Jason Voorhees return to terrorize the teenagers of Elm Street, but this time they're out to get each other too, in a battle to the death. I have never been a huge fan of the Friday the 13th franchise. I think Jason Voorhees is an iconic horror villain, and I love the character design of him. But the movies to me just seem very repetitive, and they all kind of blend together. And kind of same with the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise. I only like the original one, and then Wes Craven's New Nightmare. But the rest of them are just, eh. However, I have always loved Freddy vs. Jason, and I always find myself every single year wanting to rewatch this movie over any movie in either franchise. Here you get the best of both worlds by having Freddy and Jason, two of the most iconic horror villains ever put the film, and it's filled with a lot of the tropes that we know while also making it feel fresh with the early 2000s grungy kind of vibe. Although the story feels half-baked, and the characters even more so. The spectacle of the film isn't revolving around that, it's revolving around seeing these two icons battling it out, and it delivers on all promises, with lots of early 2000s cheese in the middle. The fight choreography in this movie is very much so inspired by kung fu movies, and specifically Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon um, for that time. There's a lot of instances in this movie where Freddy or Jason or some other character will be hit and then fly like 50 feet away and you're just like the physics in this movie are just not making any sense there is literally a scene in this movie where freddy krueger plays pinball in a dream sequence with jason's body just bouncing off a bunch of different metal walls it's just like this big body just flopping around all over the place one of the first kills in the movie is when jason takes this dude and he's laying in a bed and he literally folds the bed in half and the dude just goes like a sandwich. What the filmmakers do a great job of doing is focusing on what you came to see, what you paid the money for, and that is to see Freddy and Jason fight. You don't really care about the other characters, so that's why they're kind of an afterthought. But unlike the Transformers movies, where those movies focus really heavily on the human characters and not on the Transformers, this one is like, no, you guys came to see Freddy and Jason, so we're going to give you a lot of Freddy and Jason. So that being said, the characters are not very strong in this movie. Um, the main character is about as strong as it's going to get. And the boyfriend character is also, I guess, pretty all right. But the characters kind of take a backseat to Jason and Freddy. And that's just how it is. Both the Friday and the Nightmare franchises were on the decline. So this movie showed that there was a spark to be found in both of these characters of both franchises. So... It was a shame that there wasn't a sequel made or anything else done with the characters until the remakes. I also think this movie was ahead of its time because the concept of Freddy vs. Jason, if it was made today, I think it would be a huge hit. It would have probably made a lot of money because now we see Batman vs. Superman. We see the Civil War um, in the Marvel Universe with Iron Man and Captain America. So I think... This was decades ahead of its time. It's a shame that the whole rights issues have been going on with the Friday the 13th franchise. I'm excited to see what the A24 series is going to look like. Um, but I would love to see something new from the Friday the 13th or the Nightmare franchises. I would love to see something revitalize these characters again. The music in this movie is also very early 2000s metal, and it's just so grungy, and I really enjoy listening to it. The only critiques I could give this movie besides the story and the characters is that the editing is very jarring at times, and I'm just not a huge fan of it. It just doesn't look good. It's not visually appealing at all. The kills in this movie are so good, though, and there are a lot of times where blood is just squirting everywhere. There'll be times where Freddy and Jason are going at it, and they're just like chopping each other up and then uh, blood is just squirting out of their shoulder or their head or neck or whatever and then like a another character will be chopped in half so over the top violent that you just love it you can't take it seriously i am just glad this movie even exists because this movie went through production hell with many script rewrites many directors attached to the project and then not attached to the project 
And it just was a mess. This movie isn't a masterpiece by any stretch of the imagination, but I'm actually really surprised how good it turned out, despite all of the behind-the-scenes production issues it faced. My suggestion to you, don't watch any of the Friday the 13th movies. Don't watch Nightmare. Watch Freddy vs. Jason. You're going to get the best of both worlds. Grab some popcorn. Grab some friends. You're going to have a great time with it. I'm going to give the movie 3 out of 5 stars. Thank you guys again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode of 31 Days of Horror.